So we've got the Oz of the T-34 now. I'll be able to penetrate this if it goes well. Ep, there we go. <laughs> 826 damage done there. That's how it's done, guys. Greetings guys, it is Tokraft. Today, the reason for this video is that I um, am leaving to Barcelona today. When you're watching this, I am probably already in Barcelona. Barcelona, hey! <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say is, I was actually making a tank review again. I'm not going to spoil what tank I was making a review of. But um, as I was making the review, I realized that I was not going to be able to finish the review in time. Um, before I would leave to Barcelona, so I decided to just um, show you guys an awesome replay in the OHO, which is just a lot of fun to watch in my opinion. Um, and I will be able to upload this beforehand. While I'm in Barcelona, I'm going to be able to have at least some uploads um, on El Aloof, as we can see. So, as you can see, I've got the Derp gun as well on the OHO. Um, and as you guys know, this is just a ridiculously armored, well armored tank. 200 millimeters on the front. Um, the thing that is really annoying about this tank is that these front gun turrets make sure that you don't get the best gun depression over the front of the tank, which is really annoying in my opinion. So, what you need to do, you need to pretty much angle the tank to the right or very far to the left to be able to depress your gun next to these gun turrets, as you can see. Uh, this can be a very big problem while engaging tanks uh, But on El Aloof in this corner it doesn't really matter that much because you don't really need the gun depression here um, But still I'm going to have to aim down on tanks as uh, My tank is very uh, high profile So I'm still going to have to angle the tank to get more gun depression as you can see uh, I do have enough to aim at this IS-3 luckily and as I've got the derp gun mounted, it doesn't really matter where I hit that guy anywhere. Uh, if I hit him anywhere, it is uh, roughly it's just going to do some damage. Because as you guys know, if you shoot HE shells with this 150mm gun, you get 75mm of penetration and a 910 average damage per shot. There we go, that's a better one. 400 uh, splash damage on the turret of the IS-3. Uh, I'm not really sure why he is trying still to side scrape. He's a good player if you can see in the statistics. But I'm not sure why he's trying to peek against me because he just knows that he's just... Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing damage to him with an HE gun. Well, he's down. That's the first victim claimed. 900 damage done. As you can see, angling the tank very far just to get the gun depression to be able to shoot the tanks if they peek out. This 110 is not making it an easy job for me, but I can't really blame this guy. He's also just trying to play the game, of course. So, as we can see, we're getting swarmed by the enemy team. Uh, the enemy have conquered both corners here, and um, I'm going to make the best use out of this tank, because this is the ideal situation for the OHO. This gun is really inaccurate, aims really slowly, um, and reloads very long. Um, so I'm going to try and make the best of it. So there goes the best enemy uh, player. <laughs> He's gone. He got annihilated by the derp gun on the OHO. But as you can see, a close range fight, which is just the ideal situation for this tank. And you have to, and look at how much I just have to turn my tank to be able to have a shot at these tanks. It is very dangerous to to um, go around corners that way because of course then the side armor will be very visible for the enemy team and they will be able to penetrate it really easily so I do have to be uh, very careful but luckily I didn't need uh, that much kind of pressure to aim at the side of his tank so as we can see best ideal situation no long range engagement um, just some HE uh, splashing all the time and that will just uh, enable you to do damage and as you can see, an, uh, an enemy charioteer is very mad in game. And I always like to answer those players with, uh, you might, uh, or something like that. <laughs> I really, I just like that a lot. Usually I'm not that guy that says it all the time. 
Did you see that? I was pre-aiming at the corner. I was looking to my left to see if the T-34 would get spotted. The Super Pershing peaked. I wasn't even probably, probably, properly looking at him. And I still managed to get the shot off at him, which is ridiculous. Anyway, side shot on the Tiger B. Skadoosh. <laughs> you gotta love this HE damage. It is very satisfying to have a gun that uh, for which you don't really need to aim at weak spots with. You can just uh, fire away at the tank. It just roughly hit the tank and be able to um, just do damage to them. Also here, no aim, like a boss, right in the front of the T-34. Luckily we hit his hull armor because that would have done of course more splash damage than hitting him straight on the turret as he would have splashed through through more uh, armor on that ta on the tank. But luckily we put a shot in. Disadvantage about this gun is that it has a 14 second reload which is not very nice. But still, you do get a comfort of doing damage every time you hit. And as the 105mm gun on this tank doesn't get any premium rounds, uh, in my opinion, it's just not worth mounting that gun. Because in, tier, yeah, in bottom tier matchups, you will just almost not be able to do uh, good damage to enemy tier 10 heavy tanks. So we've got the Oz of the T-34 now. I'll be able to penetrate this if it goes well. Ep, there we go. <laughs> 826 damage done there. That's how it's done, guys. Just aim at the ass of an enemy tier 8 heavy tank and you'll be able to penetrate his ass. Just like that. <laughs> there we go. Another ass shot. Unfortunately, he's on low health, but we managed to take him down. Just like that. And that's the nature of the Oni. So, we will not be able to uh, even get close towards the Indian Panzer. As we can see, still 5 kills, 3,500 damage for the Oni is a very good result. Um, we're quickly going to take a look at the statistics of this game before I will leave to Barcelona. Let's take a look. I'll leave to Barcelona on the 30th of August in the evening and I'll be there for around 3 days. So I think I'll return on the Friday or Saturday. I am not really sure. But... Please stay tuned to the channel. As I said, I've got a tank review coming right up for you guys. And in the meantime, I hope you still liked watching this video. If you did like to watch this video, please make sure you leave a like because I did put a lot of time into making this video. And please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, guys. I will see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye.